Lori Loughlin spotted looking like herself again after college scandal. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Lori Laughlin sentenced in U.S. college admission scandal? What is it? Since March 2019, 56 people have been charged for the scandal, investigation into which was codenamed Operation Varsity Blues. Since it had been first reported in March last year, America's college admission scandal has seen many high-profile figures being convicted, including television personalities, business leaders, and top lawyers. The latest on the list is Full House actress Lori Laughlin, who was sentenced to a jail term of two months for participating within the racket. Her husband, dressmaker Massimo Giannulli, is going to be sent to jail for five months. Laughlin and Giannulli have also been ordered to pay respective fines of $150,000 and $250,000 and complete 100 and 250 hours of community service, respectively, Reuters reported. In total, the bribery for admission scam involved parents paying around $25 million from 2011 to early 2019 to the scheme's organizers, whose reach extended to a number of the four most prestigious American universities, including Stanford, Yale, and Georgetown. What is the U.S. college admission scandal? The principal accused, William Singer, who ostensibly owned a university consultancy service, ran a racket to secure his clients' admissions into elite schools in exchange for hefty payments. The clients who availed Singer's services for their children were aware of the criminal nature of the scheme, which Singer has since revealed that has been availed by some 750 families. In March 2019, the U.S. Department of Justice categorized the racket into three parts, arranging a third party to require the SAT and ACT standardized tests in lieu of actual students, falsely designating applicants as potential recruits for school athletic teams and concealment using charitable accounts. In the first part, Singer would use compromise invigilators to guarantee the required test scores for his clients who took the competitive exams at centers he controlled. This would sometimes involve the scholars for faking a learning disorder to urge extended time for completing the test, spanning consecutive days, during which the invigilators would guide them to the correct answers. This service cost anywhere between $15,000 to $75,000. The second part, which has caused the most outrage, is the bribing of coaches responsible for non-mainstream sports like volleyball, soccer, and other athletic games and tennis at top universities. Singer would influence these coaches into granting admissions on seats reserved for elite sports persons. Singer would also create fake CVs of his clients, showcasing them as accomplished sports persons, all within the knowledge of those varsity coaches. Finally, the Department of Justice charged the alleged culprits with concealment, employing a fake charity to siphon the funds collected from parents. Lori Laughlin is being released from prison Monday after serving nearly two months for the school admission scandal. Meanwhile, her husband, Massimo Giannulli, will still serve his five-month sentence. On October 30th, Laughlin surrendered to federal authorities and commenced her sentence at a jail in Dublin, California. According to the Federal Bureau of Prisons database, Laughlin's release date is about Monday. A spokesperson for Dublin's Federal Correctional Institute declined comment over the phone. In May, Laughlin pleaded guilty to a minimum of one account of conspiracy to commit mail and wire fraud within the nationwide scandal that saw rich and influential parents buy their kids' way into top schools within the U.S. Giannulli also pleaded guilty and admitted to paying $500,000 to possess the couple's two daughters enrolled at the University of Southern California as crew recruits, despite never playing the game. The Full House star served two days, but her full two-month sentence, Felicity Huffman, another celebrity figure involved within the college admission scandal, served 11 days of her two-week sentence in October 2019. I don't want pity. I don't deserve pity, she said. What's so important to me is to seek out from the error. To not now be shamed and punished and never given a second chance because I'm 21. I desire and I deserve a second chance to redeem myself to mean I've grown. Actress Lori Laughlin has been released from federal prison after serving a two-month sentence for her role within the varsity admission scam, prison spokeswoman Sally Swartz said Monday. Best known for starring as Aunt Becky in Full House, Laughlin pleaded guilty to a conspiracy charge in May and admitted to paying the scheme's mastermind $500,000 to urge her two daughters into the University of Southern California under false pretenses. She began serving her sentence on October 30th at a federal penal institution in Dublin, California. Her husband, dressmaker Massimo Giannulli, also pleaded guilty to a conspiracy charge as a part of a plea deal. He reported to the Federal Correctional Complex in Lompoc, California on November 19th to serve a five-month sentence. Laughlin also must serve two years of supervised release, perform 100 hours of community service, and pay a fine of $150,000. And Giannulli was ordered to serve two years of supervised release, perform 250 hours of community service, and pay a $250,000 fine. 
that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell icon to never miss any updates, and I'll see you soon in another exciting video.